Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate any of the red 3D animals just by using a piece of picture. It can be JPG or PNG and the AI will do it for you. And start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Just look at this demo, you can see this is a lion. This is a 3D animal. And then you can see everything already really have the read already have the skeletons and it is game ready and all of the texture is just one material one picture only and the whole 3d model is generated by the ai and now it is in blender and this rig is from the blender and everything is quite perfect for 3d animations it is ready for you to create the 3d animation so start from now i'm going to show you the step by step just use a piece of picture the ai will do it for you all right now first i'm going to close this and i start a fresh new blender project and i just start from beginning first you have to go into this website this website is triple 3d dot ai slash app this is the website. Go into this website first and get it standby. Next, just go to the Google image. You can just search any picture. For example, for this time, I search Tiger 3D. All right, then I go to the Google image here. So to search the Tiger 3D, you can see if I search Tiger, just Tiger a single word, then all of these pictures, it is not in the correct post. But if you search the Tiger 3D, you can see some of some of the pictures that already everything in good pose that all already have a good pose. So I want to see the tiger's tail as well, for example this one. And then you better choose a good picture. Let's say I click this. Such a picture that it's very clear. All right, I'm going to use this. All right, everything look nice. Then I right click and save this image on my desktop first. And I will name this as Tiger01. Then I click save. Now, I already have this picture. All right. So next, once you already get the picture, back to the triple 3d.ai slash app you have to log in with your google account all right next next just click add add the image here and add it from my desktop the tiger 01 double click next click create from this moment actually the AI is working on this image. It is going to generate a 3D model according to that picture, that JPG or PNG picture. Just wait for a while until it is 100% fully finished. Just wait for a while. Next, you can see a bar. You have to wait until 100% as well. Just wait for a while. Now, it is done already and look at this tail it have something something wrong here just because of just now the tail should be straight so actually you can just retry retry again until you feel satisfied and the, the ai would retry again and create a 3d model for you all right if you, you still feel not satisfied, actually you can refine a picture. Find a better picture so that you can make it better. Or you can try this as well. Just right click, save the image as, and maybe it will be better. This one, I just named this as Tiger02. I click save. Right, then I close this. And then Choose yes, then delete this and upload again the picture. So then click create. 
Right, now this 3D model already out. And I feel not satisfied just because of the head. Then I close it. Then I upload again a new picture and just now I find it. Generate. Alright, for this one, I feel quite satisfied. Then just expand it. Now, I'm going to use this because it is better than just now. Right. For the picture source, it is on my desktop. This is a piece of picture that I fit the AI to create a 3D model. Now, it is already here. What you need to do is just click download. Click download and it is going to download into your download folder. Just wait for a while for this converting mesh. The AI is working automatically. All right, now it is downloading. It is going to download into my download folder and just wait for a few seconds. All right, now it done. Once it done, I, I just move my mouse cursor to the file explorer, right click and open the download folder. So now in my download folder, it is here, model export FBX. So I renamed this immediately by pressing F2 and I named this as Tiger03. All right, now I right click, cut, and then I'm going to put it on my desktop. This is just a temporary folder. And now you can see it is an FBX file. Next, open the blender. Just press A and press delete button to delete everything. Then click file, import FBX from my desktop, Tiger03. Now, just turn on the texture. You can see the texture now. Next, what we need to do is just click the Z. And actually this 3D model, it still not it still don't have any of the skeleton yet. We are going to add it in Blender just in one click. But before that, you have to click the Z and make sure you adjust the orientation. Click the 3D model, then rotate it to make sure it face the green line. You can see this green line is the Y axis. Make sure it is straight, straight to the green line. Then next, move your mouse cursor here and click minus Y. At this moment, we need to adjust the pivot point. So click here, then you can see the arrow, then press Ctrl, full stop. Then we move this blue cursor to the bottom until it reach the, reach the tiger's feet. Then again, press Ctrl, full stop again, and move it up to make sure it is at the red line. Now, you can see this tiger is standing on the ground. So like this, it really correct. Next, we are going to add a bone. To add a bone, first you have to go to the edit preferences and go to the add-on. Here, search for Rigify. Make sure you activate the Rigify. This is already in your Blender 4. So then close it. Next, click Add. Armature, basic. Just check the animals. You have the wolf, horse, etc., the cats, and you can add the basic quadrupeds as well. So to make it simple, I just add the basic quadruped. It's enough. Now you can see this is a skeleton. Next, check your tiger again. Click negative Y to make sure it is at the center. Yes, center symmetry. If you can move it a little bit if you like it. Alright, then again, control full stop. Make sure the pivot is at the center. Alright, now next click the skeleton, then press S. Wait, control Z. Control full stop. Alright, now it's okay already. Press S. 
to make sure it fit to the size. But before that, you have to go to here, viewport display, to make it show in front so that you can see the whole skeleton. Now for this one, again, just S and like this. Next, we are going to move it, move some of the skeletons to make sure it is at the correct position. For the head, it should be no problem because this is the head and it's already there, but the leg, you need to move it. So you have to click and then go to the edit mode. Then, under the options, tick X as this mirror and we are going to move it. To move it, you can just click X so that it is going to move together like this move it this one this point move up a little bit here this one you can move it move and this point move now just have a check it is already symmetry Next, click negative Y, then to make sure that it is at the center. This one, make sure it is at here, then better. Now, you can see the leg already done, finished setup. All right, this is the neck, you can move the neck. Wait, it's at here, this part. All right. Next, click X again. Move this. Make sure it is at the correct position. This one as well. Here, the jaw. All right. We done the leg. Next, just move, move it like this and click Y and we are going to adjust it to the center to the center of the leg we don't want it to just just at behind all right now check again everything ready perfect for for the leg here this one should go in front a little bit Just click negative X and observe it. So now you can see these two legs, it is not balanced. So you can just switch off the symmetry and we just move this. That is okay. Now everything look normal. Finally is the tail. We are going to move the tail and this one, I'm going to move it down a little bit as well. Move the tail. First, you can just click Z and make sure that the end point is at the end point here. This point is at here. All right, next. Next, just go to another side here, click X and make sure it is at the correct position, like this. All right, next, check again. Just look at the tail. Everything okay already. So the final ones, back to the object modes and click the mesh. Go to the edit mode. And then here, just press A to select all of the vertices. Right click it, merge vertices by distance. Right. Perfect. Then back to the object modes here. Next, we are going to bind the skin weights. Click the mesh, hold the shift, click the skeletons.
then control P with automatic weights. This is the final step. Now it is already ready for you to create the 3D animation. Just try the head. Click the skeletons, go to the post mode and have a try. Click and rotate it to see. Now you can see the head already can turn. Alright, the leg. It's ready, movable, and we are going to make this straight. So click the Z, make sure the tail is straight. And now, just like this, move it back. Move it back to the origin, like this. It is ready for you to create the 3D animation, just because of the rigging part already done. Have a look. Now, then click X and make sure. Make sure you move it back. Wait, this one. Rotate it. Now it is already symmetry. You can see this game ready and animation ready tiger. Right, really perfect. So now we already successfully just use the AI to generate any of the animal 3D model we fully rig just by using a piece of picture and you can animate it. You can render it in Blender 4.0 3D animation software. And it is game ready, you can export it out as FBX file for any of your game engine like Unity or Unreal Engines. Right. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!